You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Tuesday, June the 9th, 2020. The Twins shut out the Orioles 6 to nothing was the final score. The Twins got their first run in the second inning, put up a run in the fifth, but then put a four spot up in the sixth. Kenta Maeda still undefeated on the year. He's 9-0, and John Means falls to 3-5 with his individual record on the mound. The Royals and Yankees played each other. The Royals got shut out 8-0 the final score, and the Yankees got all eight of their runs in the seventh inning. Masahiro Tanaka got the win. He's 6-1 now on the year, and Keller got his 10th loss of the season on the mound with the Royals. AL East baseball here between the Red Sox and the Rays. The Red Sox got shut out, 6-0 the final score. The Rays scored three in the first inning and didn't give up a lead after that, most notably because the Red Sox didn't score at all. Blake Snell got the win. Martin Perez got the loss, his 10th of the year. The Athletics and Tigers played each other a close game, but the Tigers won 6-5. The Tigers have been on a small hot streak coming into June. Matthew Boyd got the win. Jesus Lazardo got the loss, and Joe Jimenez earned his 16th save of the year. AL Central Baseball between the Indians and the White Sox, 14-9. The final score, large amounts of offense in this game. The Indians got 14 runs on 12 hits. A bizarre score line there. The White Sox out hit the Indians. They had 15 hits but scored 9 runs. Hunter Wood got the win. Gio Gonzalez got the loss. And Brad Hand earned his 25th save of the year. A close game between the Mariners and Blue Jays, but the Blue Jays are staying hot. They won by a run, 6-5, the final score. The Blue Jays tied the game and took the lead in the seventh with a three-run seventh inning. The Blue Jays, six runs on nine hits. The Mariners, five runs on ten hits. Thomas Pannone got the win. Austin Adams got the loss. And Ken Giles earned his 18th save of the year. Interleague play between the Marlins and the Angels. The Marlins won by a score of 8 to nothing. Sandy Alcantara got the win, and Shohei Otani continuing to struggle this year. He's now 3-6 and six on the mound. AL West baseball between the Rangers and the Astros, a battle of Texas as well. The Astros won 7-6. This was a close game all throughout. The Rangers put up two runs at the top of the ninth inning that tied the game, but then the Astros scored in the bottom of the ninth inning to walk it off. Those were just a few events that happened, but this game was back and forth all throughout. And you see the Astros made a comeback. They scored three in the seventh and one in the eighth. The Rangers got two runs to tie it. Then the Astros won it in the bottom of the ninth. Chris Davinsky got the win and Luis Garcia got the loss. And at least baseball between the Braves and the Nationals. This was a game that went 11 innings, went 11 scoreless innings for that matter. The Braves broke the silence with a three-run home run by Marcelo Zuna in the bottom of the 11th inning to walk it off. The Braves got just five hits in this game, and the Nationals went scoreless with nine team hits. Grant Dayton got the win, and Wander Suero got the loss. Both those pitchers came out of the bullpen in this game. The Dodgers and Reds played each other 5-3 the final score. The Dodgers got four in the first and two in the second, which was all they needed. The Reds were chipping away in this game. They got two in the fourth inning and one in the eighth, but to no avail, they ended up losing by two runs. Walker Buehler earned his Major League leading 11th win of the year. Sonny Gray now 4-3, and, and Kenley Jansen has 24 saves. The Cubs and Phillies played each other, and the Cubs won by a run, 5-4, the final in this one. The Phillies got all four of their runs in the fourth inning. Meanwhile, the Cubs scored two in the first, one in the fourth, and one in the ninth. Trevor McGill got the win, and Craig Kimbrell earned his 22nd save of the year. The Cardinals and Mets played each other, 5-4, the final score. The Mets beat the Cardinals. After getting two runs in the fourth, one run in the fifth, and two runs in the sixth inning, they scored in the middle third of the game. The Cardinals had runs scattered throughout this game. One in the first, one in the third, one in the sixth, and one in the eighth, but wasn't enough to overcome, and they lost. Rick Porcello got the win, Alex Reyes got the loss, and Edwin Diaz earned his 16th save of the year. The Padres and Brewers played each other, 3-2 to two the final score of this game. The Brewers got all three of their runs in the third inning. The Padres scored on almost bookends of this game. They got a run in the first and a run in the eighth, and lost by a run, couldn't overcome the three-run deficit. Brandon Woodruff got the win, Denelson Lamott got the loss, and Corey Knable earned his first save of the year. NL West Baseball between the Rockies and the Diamondbacks, 7-5 to five was the final score of this game, and it took 11 innings to complete. The Rockies stormed and made a comeback 
in the bottom of the eighth inning to tie the game at five. And that came after the Diamondbacks scored three in the seventh inning to take a commanding lead. But it didn't hold up. The Rockies tied it, forced it to extras, and walked it off on a home run in the bottom of the 11th inning. Brian Shaw got the win, and Steven Kreitschton got the loss. The Pirates and Giants played each other 9-4, to four, the final score, and the Pirates ended up winning. Though the Giants scored first, they got a run in the third, but then the Pirates brought out their offense in the sixth and seventh innings. Five runs in the sixth, four runs in the seventh. The Giants put up a decent amount in the eighth, scored three runs, but they lost by five overall. Chris Archer got the win, and Johnny Cueto got the loss. Looking at standings now, starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees got their 40th win today against the Royals. They're 40-27. and 27. They're still at the top of the division. The Blue Jays have gotten hot. They've won nine of their last ten games, and they've won their three most recent games. They're 37-30. and 30. They're three games back of the Yankees. The Rays are 32-36. and 36. They're eight and a half games back, and they won today. The Red Sox, 31-37. and 37. They're nine and a half games back. They got shut out by the Rays. And the Orioles are 30 and 36, nine and a half games back. They've lost four games in a row and eight of their last 10. They're in last place in the AL East. In the AL Central, the Minnesota Twins working their way up to 50 wins. They're on a four game winning streak. They're 48 and 20, still at the top of the Central. The Chicago White Sox are 40 and 27. They've lost four games in a row and they've fallen to seven and a half games back of the division lead. And they were close with the Twins when this month began. The Indians are 37-30 and 30 in a couple other divisions in baseball. They'd be in first place, but they're stuck in the AL Central with two of the better teams in the league. They're 10 and a half games back of the division lead. The Tigers are 27-39. and 39. They're 20 games back. So they've won four games in a row. They've been on a tiny hot streak coming into June. And the Royals have lost seven of their last 10 games. They're still in last place. They're 21-46, and 46, and they're 26 and a half games back of the Twins, who are in first place. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics are 41-26. and 26. They're still at the top. The Astros have come to within a game and a half of the Athletics. They're 39-27. and 27. They're on a six-game winning streak, and they've won eight of their last ten. The Angels are 30-36. and 36. They've lost four games in a row. They're ten and a half games back. The Rangers are 27-40. and 40. They're 14 games back. They've lost three games in a row. And the Mariners are on a cold stretch. They're 24-44, and 44, 17 and a half games back. And they've lost nine of their last ten games. The wildcard standings in the AL look like this. The Chicago White Sox at the top are 40 and 27. The Whites, or the, excuse me, the Astros are just a half game behind the White Sox for that first wildcard spot. 39 and 27 is the Astros record. And you have the Blue Jays and the Indians tied for the spot below the second wildcard spot. They're two and a half games out of that second wildcard spot that the Astros occupy right now. And those are the closest teams because every other team in the American League has a winning percentage under 500 and is at least eight games back of that second wildcard spot. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals still lead their 39 and 27. But they're being caught up to now by not the Phillies, but the Marlins, who are 38 and 29. The Marlins have gained some traction. They've won eight of their last 10 games, and they've won six in a row. They're one and a half games back of the Nationals. The Braves, 35 and 32 is their record. They're on a small hot streak. They've won seven of their last 10. They're on a four-game winning streak. They're four and a half games back of the Nats. The Phillies have caught a cold spell. They're 33 and 33 now, six games back of the division lead. And they've lost eight of their last ten. And they've lost seven in a row. And the Mets still in last place. They've lost eight of their last ten games. Though they won today. They're 28-39. Eleven and a half games back of the Nationals for first place. In the National League Central, the Cardinals remain the only team in this division with a winning percentage over 500. The Cubs are 33-36. and 36. They're three and a half games back of the Cardinals. The Brewers are 31-35, and 35, four games back. They've won three games in a row. The Reds lost today. They're 29-38, and 38, six and a half games back. And the Pirates are 25-41. and 41. They're 10 games back. They beat the Giants today. In the National League West, the Dodgers continue to lead. 46-20 and 20 is their record. They've won three in a row. They beat the Reds today. The Padres are in second place still, but they're a double-digit amount of games back from the Dodgers. They're 10 games back. They've lost six games in a row. They've lost seven of their last 10 games. The Diamondbacks have been doing well recently. They've won seven of their last 10 games, though they lost today. But they're a game back of the Padres for second place with a 35-31 and 31 record. But they're 11 games back of the division lead. The Rockies are 28-38, 18 games back. 
And the Giants have lost three games in a row. They're 26 and 40, and they're 20 games back of the Dodgers for first place. Here are the National League wild card standings. The Marlins are 38 and 29. They're, they have the top spot for this now. The Padres had the top spot, but you see they're on a six-game losing streak, so they're now in the second wild card spot in the NL. The Diamondbacks are a game back. And close to not only being second in the NL West, but taking that second spot from the Padres. The Braves not too far behind either. They've gotten hot recently. They're 35 and 32, a game and a half back. And the Phillies have broke even. They're 33 and 33, though they've lost their last seven games. They're three games back of the Padres for that second wild card spot. And every other team in the National League has a winning percentage under 500. And all of them are at least four and a half games back of that second wild card spot. Looking at league leaders now, starting with batting average leaders in the American League. Miguel Cabrera, 382 batting average. He's at the top. Carlos Santana, second best with a 361. And Miguel Andujar, third best with a 351. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has a 364 batting average. David Dull has a 359. And Jonathan Villar has a 352. Hits leaders in the American League. Miguel Andujar at 98, trailed by one by Miguel Cabrera, who's at 97. DJ LeMayhew, 94, good for third best. In the National League, Jonathan Villar, the first one in baseball to 100 hits. Paul Goldschmidt, 10 behind him with 90. And Ronald Acuna Jr. trails Goldschmidt by four. He's at 86 hits. At bat leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar has 279 at bats. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has 284 at bats. Doubles leaders in the American League, Anthony Rendon is at 25. Jose Abreu has 24. Miguel Andujar has 23. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has 32. Christian Yelich is at 24. Nicholas Castellanos and Javier Baez tied for third best with 20. Triples leaders in the American League. Jose Altuve has five. Whit Merrifield, Steven Piscotti, and Adalberto Mondesi all tied for second best with four. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has eight triples. Hunter Pence, Chris Bryant, and Victor Robles all tied for second best with five. Home run leaders in the American League, Justin Upton at the top of this list with 24, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. at 23, Josh Donaldson and Chris Davis tied for third best with 22. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. is at 26, Paul Goldschmidt second best with 21, Max Muncy third best with 18. RBI leaders in the American League, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. has 67, nine behind him is Chris Davis with 58, and Josh Donaldson rounds out the top three with 57. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has 58, Christian Yelich has 52, and Cody Bellinger has 51. Run scored leaders in the American League, J.D. Martinez has 53 runs scored, Yohan Mankata and Marcus Semien tied for second best with 50. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 60, Trey Turner has 56, and Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with 53. Stolen base leaders in the American League, Adalberto Mondesi has 14, D. Gordon with 13, Malik Smith with 12. In the National League, Starling Marte with 26, Trey Turner with 22, and Jonathan Villar with 19. Walks leaders in the American League, Alex Bregman has 43, as does Shin Su Chu. They're tied for the top spot. In the National League, Reese Hoskins has 45, and he leads all NL players. On base percentage leaders in the American League, Miguel Cabrera has a 449 on base percentage, Carlos Santana second best with a 437, and Michael Brantley rounds out the top three with a 426. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has a 461, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 435, Christian Yelich third best with a 433. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson has a 655, Chris Davis with a 643, and Justin Upton third best with a 629. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 759. Another player has gotten back over 700. That's Paul Goldschmidt with a 704 slugging percentage. And Christian Yelich, third best with a 689. On base percentage plus slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson has a 1.068. Miguel Cabrera, second best with a 1.067. And Carlos Santana rounds out the top three with a 1.063. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 1194. That's good for the league best. Paul Goldschmidt, second best with a 1165. And Christian Yelich rounds out the top three with a 1123. Moving on to pitcher statistics, starting with wins leaders in the American League. There are a couple pitchers who have reached eight wins in the American League, but Kenta Maeda is still at the top because he got his ninth win of the year today. Jake Odorizzi is at eight wins, as is Hyunjin Ryu. They're tied for second best with eight. In the National League, Walker Buehler earned his 11th win of the season today against the Reds. David Price and Madison Bumgarner are tied for second best with seven. Losses leaders in the American League, Kenta Maena, Mike Miner, and Chris Bassett all tied for the league best. They have not been defeated yet this year on the mound. 
In the National League, Walker Buehler with one loss. Carlos Martinez tied with him. He also has just one loss on the year. Saves leaders in the American League. Brad Hand has 25. Liam Hendricks is at 23. Roberto Ozuna is at 22. In the National League, Giovanni Gallegos has 26 saves. Kentley Jansen second best with 24. Sean Doolittle third best with 23. ERA leaders in the American League. Kent Maeda at the top of the 2-2-3. Mike Miner second best with a 2-3-2. And Zach Plezak rounds out the top three with a 2-4-6. In the National League, Walker Buehler has a 1-6-9. Marcus Stroman at a 2-even. And Mike Soroka third best with a 2-2-5. Home runs allowed among American League pitchers. Mike Miner has allowed five home runs this year. He's at the top of this list. In the National League, Marcus Semien and Garrett Richards are at the top with four home runs allowed on the year. Shutouts among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole has three complete game shutouts, as does Masahiro Tanaka. He joins Garrett Cole again at the top spot. The only day that these two were separated was yesterday when Garrett Cole earned his third complete game shutout of the year, but Masahiro Tanaka did the same thing against the Royals today. So they're both at three complete game shutouts, leaving Jake Odorizzi at third best with two. But these two were at the top of the list for quite a while with two shutouts on the year, but now they're both at three complete game shutouts. So. Yankees dominance right there on your screen. In the National League, Jacob deGrom has three complete game shutouts. Zach Wheeler, Merrill Kelly, and Walker Bueller tied for second best with two. Strikeout leaders in the American League. Garrett Cole's at 121. Lucas Giolito's at 106. And Jake Odorizzi, third best with 102. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw's at 114. Steven Strasburg, second best with 113. And Yu Darvish, third best with 102. Complete games thrown among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole and Monsieur Tanaka have completed three games this year. Jake Odorizzi's third best with two complete games. In the National League, Jacob deGrom and Zach Wheeler are still at the top with three complete games thrown. Aaron Nola, Merrill Kelly, and Walker Bueller tied for third best with two completed games this year. Innings pitch leaders in the American League, Hyun Jin Ryu's at 95. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw's at 98 in the third innings pitched. Walks allowed among American League pitchers. Carlos Carrasco at the top with 12 walks allowed. In the National League, Brett Anderson has 16 walks allowed. Whip leaders in the American League. Masahiro Tanaka is below one. He's at a .96. Jake Odorizzi also below one with a .98. And Zach Plezak's a part of the top three. He has a 103 whip. In the National League, Marcus Stroman's right at one. Clayton Kershaw's at a 101, as is Mike Soroka. They're second and third on this list. Pitching war leaders in the American League. Jake Odorizzi has a 2.4 war. Garrett Cole second best with a 2.4 as well. And Shane Bieber and Corey Kluber each have a 2.2. They're three and four on this list. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw has a 2.4. Steven Strasburg, Jacob deGrom, Hugh Darvish, and Walker Buehler all have a 2.3. They make up the top five on this list. Batting war leaders in the American League. Marcus Semien has a 4.6 war. DJ LeMahieu at a 4.1 and Matt Chapman at a 3.9. And in the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 5.5. Christian Yelich second best with a 4.7. Paul Goldschmidt has a 4.1 and Jonathan Villar also has a 4.1. They make up the top four on this list. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Tuesday, June the 9th, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.